Hi guys! Today I'm going to talk to you about some of the risks we have in the electronics laboratory and also at home. This is a typical battery pack of 4000 milliampers that we use for the smartphone when the battery runs out. We can add some voltage and current to it. But also, these kind of things could be dangerous at home. I'm going to explain you why. Here, right now, is summer. Temperature goes for 37 degrees Celsius, 44 even. So we're, let's say, 100 Fahrenheit to have an idea outside. And this battery inflates. It got totally fat and even broke the plastics and disassembled itself. That's the reason we knew it was uh, broken. We gave it the uh, one family member to me in the morning. And it's a dangerous if the battery is charged. So let's learn how to manage this kind of situation. So we have 2.7 volts. And let's remember this thing is able to storage even to 4,000 milliampers, 4 amperes. So if I take this stuff, because I have a big yard and I threw it out, I can set up my yard in fire in this season with the heat outside. If I put it in the trash, maybe I can set up in fire my trash container, the truck for the truck, or even in the place that the trash is uh, processing, I can set a fire there. So what I have to do is to discharge this damn thing before to do something else with it. I have options to discharge it. One easy option is to use one resistor. In this case, I have one kilo ohm resistor and it's like uh, three watts and that will be enough to take some time maybe if it is full loaded to discharge it in a few hours without any heat other more professional way is with a electronics lot because with the electronics load, I am able to program how much current do I want to drain from the battery in function of the time. So let's say I'm a poor guy and I don't have the electronics load, so I'm going to use the resistor. What is important to know is I should not use the output of the uh, uh, battery pack because there is a current control system and this thing is made to work in 3.7 uh, volts. After 3.6 volts, probably the system will shut down to keep the minimum charge in the battery. There is a similar circuit sometimes inside of the battery, but at least I'm avoiding that kind of control and I'm connecting the discharging resistor directly to the uh, wires, the leads from the battery. Because I have to go away, what I'm going to do is to use a piece of ceramic or a metal container to put the battery and avoid any problem in case of something is heating. As you can watch here, the voltage started to drop down and in some hours, the battery will be totally discharged and will not be a danger to anybody anymore. There are other ways to start a fire that we sometimes we do not realize. We know our major danger in the electronics lab is the soldering iron and the rework station. But watch out guys, because a single charger without anything connected for several hours after the time, one, two years, could be a source of fire at home 
or in the laboratory too. Other things we left behind could be glasses or lens or anything on the sound plane can also start a fire. So always protect yourself, think smart and take care of your electronics laboratory and your home too. It's already next morning and the voltage drops under 0.7 volts. And for me, it's the time to switch the resistor to change it for lower ohms resistor. Let's remember guys, because it is a sick battery, I cannot trust it and I need to drain the current in the minimum amounts possible. Now the voltage is getting lower and lower every time and the battery soon is not going to be a danger for anybody. Let's talk a little bit about business. Maybe you're wondering why if I have an electronics lot, I'm not using it and I'd rather to use the resistor. The answer is very easy because with the electronics lot, I need to consume current some watts to do the job. If I put the resistor and I let the hours and the night to do the job for me and within money, when I'm sleeping, buy free. Now, why to talk about business? If you live in a town with, I don't know, 5,000, 10,000 people around you, you can offer to solve this problem to the client. John Rockefeller said, we win money when we solve the client's problems. And this is the deal. If you charge one, two dollars by taking care of the inflate battery, soon you will get in one year 500 clients, 1000 clients. And with that money, you can pay the bills for one month or probably you can pay the rent for one month in your location. Everybody get the same problem. This is a real danger, um, fire source, and you can solve it for the client. If you share this video with your clients, your client will understand what you are doing, the investment you are doing, the risk you are taking, the equipment you are using, and one, two dollars doesn't hurt anybody, and you will get your client out of troubles. Share this video with them, offer this service, win some extra money. Thanks guys for watching the video. I also want to thank Soji because Soji sponsored the equipment for it. It's an easy repairing uh, multimeter with the auto function. If whatever you are doing, the multimeter will detect what you are doing. If the voltage, if you are making voltage measurements is higher than 800 millivolts, the multimeter will take care of that too. Thanks Soji for the equipment. And thanks guys by watching the video, share it with your clients, offer the service, win extra one, two dollars for it. Everybody will be happy and this thing is not going to be a danger anymore to anybody at home if you can solve that problem and charge for that service. Thanks guys, see you next time for more videos about electronics.